to go live, I guess. Good enough. And it says we are broadcasting, so I think we are. Huh. We are on the laptop, but we're not on the, the tablet yet. But you know, the tablet was being a jerk this morning, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. What uh, I see Vicki is here. Good morning, Vicki. Good morning, so Vicki. It, it's working for me. Working okay. for me. All right. Well, let's get started. All right. So today we're doing pick a stick, right? Yep. Pick the sticks. We picked them already. Yeah. Random one word prompts. Oh, there's Andrea and Peggy and Carla. Hello, hello, hello. And now they're rolling in. I'm going to work on one of these um, small canvas boards. Yeah, me too. I'm just going to turn my lap, my tablet off because it's not even like, yeah. I don't know what happened. Maybe if, I don't know. It's being a jerk. It's being a jerk. Hi, Sybil. Hi, Carla. Huh. Are you getting the are you getting the chat? I'm not even getting I'm not getting anything. It's like it's just not even working. I'm turning on the app and maybe the app will work. Yeah, because you're everything's looking good on the oh, on the we website, are. you know. Yeah. Hi, Gary. Oh, it's working. Yay. Yay, yay. It Maybe it just had to go live before it liked us. I don't know. I don't know. It's been such a jerk. It's been yeah. one of those days, guys. One of those days. I am definitely sucking the coffee down. Good morning. Hello. Yeah. Got my coffee. <laughs> I got the tea. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the secondary camera. Not that it'll work for me, but, you know, it's worth a try, right? I can always try. I should probably get my plate out of the way. It's just one of those days, right, Mika? Yeah. You want to get under here? Nick is like laying by the door now saying, I want out. But I had to shut the door because Mr. Loud Voice is like talking in a meeting at, on the phone. I don't know what decibel, but it's super high. <laughs> okay, well, we're doing Pickaxe Challenge. For those of you new to the channel who don't know what Pick a Stick Challenge is, um, this is from our art community on Facebook. We post a new challenge every month at the first day of the month. And it is made out of randomly drawn one word prompts. There are 10 total prompts. Two of them are colors. And then a couple of them are wild cards if you don't like these other ones. But the rule is you do these first six prompts in order. And then you can add other stuff as you go. You can put things before, in between, after. But you're going to use these prompts. And they are 100% up to you as how you interpret them. Almost all the one word prompts can be interpreted in multiple ways. So, yeah. Say this first one, sketch. That's where we're going to start. It could be sketchy lines. It could be a sketch. It could be a stamp that looks like a sketch. It could be a stencil that looks like a sketch. It could be a picture of your really sketchy brother-in-law who may or may not sell drugs. <laughs> Interpret it <laughs> how you want. It's oh my bad. God, you're cracking me up this morning, Shell. Super sketch. I mean, you know, you might know someone yeah. who's super sketch and you might think that maybe, maybe it could be a picture of your kid who taught you to say super sketch. Right? Who knows? But how am I going to interpret it? Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to sketch. <laughs> but what am I going to sketch? I don't know because it's one of those days. I am, I am sketching circles. That's a possibility. Right. Well, I have a five by seven canvas panel. That's where I'm starting. And the reason I'm doing that is because I am also scratching at the same time with my pencil. 
and I think I'm going to scratch some areas I want to add some papers to on this background. So I don't know if I want yeah, to make some that's abstract or do I want to make something that's actually something? That's what I'm trying to decide here. What do you well, guys I gotta get through some I gotta get through some more of these prompts before I know which direction I'm going. You ever have to do that guys? You have to get started and get something down on a page before you know which way it's headed. Sometimes yeah. I think I know. And other times it's like, oh, okay, we'll just go with the flow today. I'm, I'm in a go with the flow today kind of mood, I guess. Well, you can't exactly go with the flow because we've got some rules here. you got to follow the prompts. And also, we are still doing the uh, group-wide, worldwide um, collaboration, art collaboration, where we've got these printed papers which are located in the Painty Paper album in our art group. Print them out, use them any way you want in your art. And I, I got ones that I thought were similar to these colors, which we have coral and lilac today. So I don't know what I want to do. So um, I did add funny. some into that album this morning, these uh, purple and coral kind of colors, because I wasn't finding a lot there. So if you look at the very bottom, you will yeah, see some. Yeah, and it's a it. huge file, by the way. There's a ton, 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 ton of stuff in there. And I think, in addition to scratching with my pencil, I'm going to scratch with a um, palette knife. A couple of these uh, eye zinc translucent glaze things. This one is a violet. That should work, right? So I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to put down some of these papers. We're just sketching these things. <laughs> okay, I'm going to help you down. I love it. You know, and I'll well, just sketch some stuff, you know? Just go for it. Doesn't have to be the best thing you've ever drawn. This glaze is very sticky. So it's going to work as my glue as well as a glaze to unify and glue. Seems legit. That's a cool shape. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe a fern or something. So uh, let's see, let's get a few of these. Circular pieces here. I've also got this, uh, what's this one? This one is kind of a, I don't know, beigey something or other. Let's use a little of that too. Oh, if I can get the lid off. In addition to being Sticky on your piece. Hi, Cindy Bagley and Debbie Cork. <laughs> Good morning. Ingrid, hi. Um, they are also, they also have sticky lids, evidently. So I'm going to put some of that down and add some of these elements of torn paper. I 
and these just layer up over other things. You can still see everything underneath, which is kind of nice. Opaque than I intended. Well, <laughs> there was my sketch. <laughs> oh, I thought it would show through. Dang it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, I did it. You did it. They saw you. And, you know, that's the, the beauty of this. Okay, so you do a sketch. It doesn't mean it has to be the end product. You know? I liked it, too. You notice my sketch is all covered up, too, today. It's okay. Just wanted Because to it's the first layer. Do you think this is lilac? I don't know. We're going to put a little bit of mica on there. Ooh, that was way too much. The mic is not coming until later in the show, but. <laughs> I thought I would put it on there. <laughs> oh boy, it's hot mess express today. Yeah, well, you know, that's you start with a hot mess and then you turn it into art, right? In theory. Oh, that's some crazy mic going everywhere. All right, where's my scratch stick? I do want to scratch. I do like to scratch things. Where are you? Come here. Ugh. Before the paint gets wet, it stops being wet. Scratchy, scratchy, mm, scratchy. I think I need a lid to go on that before it all dries out. Oh, oh, oh. That's yeah, these things do dry down, so you want to keep the lid on them if you use an eye zinc. Not liking the way that that's standing out there, so I'm going to change it up. These things look like seed pods. Put another layer. Put another layer on. I don't like that piece. Oh, I'm getting fussy today. <laughs> and all it is is torn paper. Good grief. Okay. Liking that a little better. What else have I got here? Um... Let's bring some of that lighter. I like the texture that's going on with this paper print, this gel print. So I don't want to lose that, but, um, and I like this slanted piece here. It's got a, uh, where they joined up. So I'm going to emphasize that with another piece of paper. Hello, Ingrid. I don't think we welcomed you yet. And Cindy and Debbie. And I don't know if I should. I forgot anyone or not. Welcome. Thanks for coming and joining us live. We, we really like it. Makes for some fun action. Even if we just rolled out of bed and showed up and we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, that's not really what happened. Yeah. Uh, 4.30... And I went downstairs, and my father-in-law was awake and thumping around and wanting me to make food. And then my mom got involved. And then, yeah, it was one of those things. One of those days. Okay, so I sketched and I scratched. That's good. How about crinkled? Ooh, what can we do with crinkle? Oh, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle's fun. 
Let's see. What do I want to crinkle? Maybe one of these. Maybe. Well, we're glad you're here, here, Cindy. You really want to crinkle something up good. Spray it with a little water. And then just crinkle it and then uncrinkle it and crinkle it again until you've really got a lot of wrinkly crinklies in it. This one decided to tear quite a bit, but it's neat. It's neat texture. Wow, you really did tear, didn't you? Why are you doing that? But it's fun anyways. But now what am I going to do with my crinkle? That's the question. Especially since I've got this fun sketch, I wanted to stay with it. But well, I will cut it. Why not? I think I can cut okay. it. Okay. I don't know. So the colors for the pick a stick are lilac and coral. And I don't really have either. So I'm going to mix up some paint. So now about the colors, um, the colors are also randomly drawn and they are also open to interpretation, you know, just because you don't have a paint or an ink that says it's, it's lilac, you could just use violet because it's the same thing, right? To me, lilac and violet are the same thing. And when, and when I put the the um, colors on there, I use the ones from the internet, the hex colors from the internet. So see if I can keep this paper crinkled when I glue it down. <laughs> Do you think I can? I don't know. Maybe. So I've got kind of a mixture here yeah. for the coral. And crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. I want some, I'm going to use wax paper here. Because I looked across the room and I could see it. So I'm going to grab some wax paper and crinkle it up this. I'm going to get my spritz bottle and I'm going to spritz some of this paint and water it down just a little bit. Make it a little bit thinner. Like so. And I'm going to take this crinkled up paper and unfold it a little bit like so and you pick up some of that paint with the crinkled paper just the yeah. slightest little bit like so that's what and, i was going to do and i'm going to stop reading my mind going to apply some of that paint with that crinkled paper okay yep Make a texture. Mm -hmm. 
while I've got this, I can also add, that stay pretty crinkled, a little bit along the edges. So I need to dry that down, of course. Vicki, I agree with you, actually. there's a There was a whole article. I don't know if you're talking about tea or not, but um, I was reading this article about the proper temperature for heating up your water dependent upon which tea, kind of tea you were using. <laughs> and it said that for the, the tea that I like, which I'm boring, I just drink plain old black English breakfast tea, said that you should heat it to 200 degrees. Well, if you're heating your cup in your um, microwave, you don't know what temperature you're getting, right? So I got an electric kettle. And now I know the exact temperature that I'm heating to for the tea. Because Americans don't make tea right. That's what I've heard. First of all, we dip the bag instead of letting the water trickle over the top, which is what you're apparently supposed to do. That's our first sin. <laughs> but now I do it right. That's sort of kind of getting dryish. Not good enough for pen work, but I could come back with a pencil or something. What's the next prompt? Micah. Micah. Okay. So I pulled out a couple of things. I've got. Um, this is just regular mica, you know, like the kind that they pick up off the ground. It's rock, and it comes in layers. Um, and the people that use this in their art like it because you can split the layers and divide it. Like you can pull the layers apart so it's sheer. So you there are white with alcohol inks. It's fun stuff. I couldn't find mine though. In fact, I didn't even try because I knew I wouldn't be able to find it. So there, there you can see I'm I'm splitting this piece in two just by pulling this piece of mica off. Like so. That is really still very sticky, which makes me think. The other mica that I pulled out is this um, Perfect Pearls. And I think this is so sticky that no matter what I do with this Perfect Pearls, it's going to stick to it. There is a resin in Perfect Pearls already. Uh, I want a soft brush. one of these. Let's see if this is going to stick. 
Well, surprisingly, it's not, but it is taking away that tackiness, which is good because that was way too, way too sticky. So maybe the resin is sticking and it's acting kind of like a baby powder. Who knew? I didn't know that would happen, but I like the, I like that. I like that a lot because I needed to get rid of that stickiness from the glazing. So, that's mica. And when you look at it on my hand, it's it's got a shimmer to it. You don't see the shimmer on here so much. But it did take away some of that stickiness from the glaze. Yeah, out west, Debbie, um, it's just laying around on the ground. And they go out and pick it up and take it home. Some people have sent me mica before, you know, that have gone out hiking or, you know, picked it up. Oh, and then I got, got it all over the place. But that's what, you know, when they make stuff out of mica, when they grind it up and put it in these other products, that's what it originates from. Yeah. Somebody sent me some of it, too. And maybe it was the same person who sent it to you. I don't know. She says she hikes. And she's a, someone who follows my YouTube. She hikes. It's just around, and she picks it up, and then she's, she's sent me... Okay, a card. I do have a card here, I think. So, next prompt is letters. So, I'm going to grab a stamp. It's got letters on it. So, this is a card that she made, and she's obviously die cut this top part, but underneath it, I don't know if you guys can see, it's that mica. It's mica flake. That's cool. And she dyed it with uh, alcohol ink to make it that color. That's cool. Yeah. Her name is Cheryl. All right. So I need something a little bit sticky. So I'm going to grab some Distress Oxide because that'll stay wet a little bit longer. Because I want to do letters now. So I'm going to ink. Ink this letter stamp. I'm just on my guess. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> put it on here. And I want it to stay wet long enough after I stamp it that I can put some of this mica powder on there. Oh boy. I'm not sure if I can get, open this. Ah, sugar plums. It's not even moving. Ah, there we go. So the mica that I got out is Pearl X powder. It's a mica with pigment in it, and it doesn't have a binder. So what I have here is gum arabic, which is a fluid binding stuff and I'm going to use it with a paintbrush and I'm just going to let's see let's start with this color this one's called misty lavender and I'm just going to dump a little bit of it in the lid it's been so long since I used this stuff but I used to use it all the time and I can just make well, it was one of the very first uh, mica products like that that I saw hit the market. Yeah, long, long time ago. Yeah, and you know it's still good. It's still good, colorful product. I have a drawer full of it too. Yeah, I probably have eight or no, I probably have more than that. I have a ton of it actually. But the thing about it is that it since it's just powder, it doesn't ever go bad. Right. 
So if you have some of it, you still got it. It's fine. Even if it's been 15 years, it's still perfectly fine. <laughs> or 30. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you know, I've had a lot of these things for a very, very, very long time. And that's the beauty of some of these things like paint. Waters and things is going to mold or have some issues. But if you're powder. You're not going to have as many issues with that. Yeah, powder's just going to be powder till it's till forever. Ooh, super kappa. This one's called super kappa. <laughs> super kappa. Super kappa. One of your favorites. Yes, it's yummy. I'm actually liking this color combo. I wasn't sure if I was going to. In the beginning, you know, because it's not my usual. Just saying. That is not my usual. Mm, that's beautiful. I love it. But you know what? Right. You, pick, pick, you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. Exactly. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm going, I'm going with the flow here. So that was Wilted Violet. Distress Oxide that I put that down with. And that was letters. So I'm up to the last thing, which is blend. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to make this a little more cohesive and I'm going to put another glaze over the top of that. But when I do that, I'm also going to add some more copper because I've got this uh, Sunkiss Copper Nouveau stuff flakes right mm -hmm. so i've got i don't know which way i want to go i've got the original one i was using i've got this uh this would tone it down quite a bit it's got kind of a gray tone to it and then this one is kind of, I think I might brighten it up with this. This It looks like a limey green in the package, but it turns out to be quite, quite a yellow. I think I might use that because I'm doing the copper and I want it to brighten up. So let me get my palette knife. And I'm going to put some of this down, seal in those layers. So I've got that. I'm going to add a little bit of. Wow, that is wow. That is really coppery. Shouldn't take much to get some bling on here. Well, if you're going to bling, bling with authority. I guess. <laughs> I got authority with this one, I'll tell you. And I want a kind of a stipply brush, wherever that is. Here, got a little stipple brush because I want to push that down into the adhesive 
make sure it gets bonded. I also have this other one here that's called Interference Violet. I don't know if you guys can see. It's shimmery. See? This one's called Interference Violet. And interference generally is like something that's one color that looks another color when you look at it a different way. I just dumped it all over the desk, so that's always fun. And my hands and everything else, but that's life. Wilted Violet one more time. And a tool. See what this does. Oh, yeah. Because I want to. I'm going to add some of that around the edges here. Just to help, help draw your eye in more for the focal point. Not sure what that's going to be yet. So... We're blending things together using our blending tool in our eye zinc ice. Ice, ice baby. Na, 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 na. <laughs> And I think I want to do a little something on here. I don't know what. Um, let's see. I've got I've got this mica, which we pulled off. So I can add that mica piece, maybe another one too. But I think before I do that, I want to I want to add some inks or paints or something. Hmm. Let's see. I've got this. This is blackberry. Oh, I'm making such a mess. This one just doesn't want to behave itself. It's just getting everywhere. Get my uh, water Mike bottle. Logan. Boy, that is really thick paint. No way, Clay. She always does the real heavy body stuff. Spilled it all over. I'll lead back on this one. I wonder if I have any type of a texture product that I didn't do letters yet, did I? No. Micah. Hmm. Letters. Letters don't go with this. Maybe I'll do some other stuff before we think about that. Spill the copper on here too. Powdery stuff just wants to be powdery.
Yeah, it does look like seaweed. I think it's because the thing the thing that I was originally sketching was from this piece of paper. It's either eucalyptus or it's seaweed. The shape. Find some of these shapes before I move on to uh, putting something else on there. What should I use? Oh no. The next thing on here is a wild, which is a piece. You guys know how the cloths, right? I've got lots of these pieces. I've got tiddlywinks, I've got uh, dice, I've got little um, puzzle pieces, dominoes, uh, here's more stuff, I like these, kind of liking these things here. Interesting too. Oh, the things we have in our stash, right? I'm not sure I have much in the way of uh, game pieces in my stash. I think I have some puzzle pieces. The thing is, is I just can't put my hands on anything anyway because I'm, it's not organized enough for me to find it at the last minute. So. I'm not going to use a game piece. I wonder well, what this will be. My other option here, which I was thinking about pulling out anyway. This could be interesting when it dries out. I just, I got out some glass bead gel and it dries clear. So I put the mica powder in it because you can mix this stuff in with other mediums. And I'm wondering what it'll look like when it's dry. <laughs> of course, it's going to take forever to dry, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun. Maybe I could put my letters. I got these letters. I put them on there somehow. I think I need a, something else like a, where's my silicon brush? I think that might be better. If I put it through. Also got stamps, which would be fun. There's a domino stamp. There's one with uh, cards. Playing cards would be fun. There's a chess. And it's like a queen. I like the queen. I think I like that. And I've got these things. This is lose next term, position yourself to win. To the victor go the spoils. Spin again. I like that. That needs to come out. Did you guys all watch that uh, Queen's Gambit movie? That was good. I like that a lot. It was a chess movie. I saw it on there, but I didn't watch it yet. So, enough. we're going to give it a good old try, and I think I'm going to use some, I 
got some stays on in a, purp a royal purple, which is, you know, the lilac theme again. Let's see if this is going to work. First, I'll test it on some paper. Oh, it looks good on paper, so let's try it. Yeah, it's working, it's working. Position yourself to win. <coughs> Excuse me. This also goes along with letters. Because there are letters on the stamp. Okay, and then this one. What have I not used here? I'm not going to get this dry in time to do work on it. That was really an oversight, wasn't it? Victor goes the spoils. Okay. So we got that. So far I'm liking the background, okay. Playing cards, yeah. Aren't those cool? I think if I'm going to use those, I should put those on a color, though. What do I have in these papers? You know, because I printed a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of the papers from the group. I'm thinking I like this. Or even that. That might be a little bit too dark. That one is a little too muted. Yeah. I think it's going to be this one. And instead of the purple, I have a black that stays on. I think I'll have to use something else. Oh, I do have a black stays on. Okay. If you're working on non-porous surfaces, I recommend the stays on. Oh, and that glaze, oh boy, that one did not stamp that well, so I need a, I need a pad. to stamp into to get this one to work well. Might need to re-ink this. Stays on pad. Yeah, it's coming along, but we'll give it a go. See if we get any of this to stamp. I can always stamp it more than once. Oops. I'm letting the ink transfer to the paper, and I've got my cushy uh, mouse pad type mat underneath it to give it a little bit of extra cushion, even though this is a rubber stamp that has cushion on it, it's got some fine detail. And you can see it, it doesn't even go all the way across on some of these images. So, oh, it did stamp just beautifully. So I've got my playing cards. So let me cut those out.
this really needs to dry overnight. Or at least for a few hours. There's no way I can get this dry enough to work. Yeah, I'm just going to have to set this aside and work on something else. That was dumb. <laughs> Can't think about that. It's just not going to dry. This stuff takes forever to dry. I can't move on to anything else. Maybe I could add a little bit of blended detail, but if I avoided the areas that were wet, but I think it's just better if I move on. Don't you think? Might be. So I'm yeah. going to get some. Set this aside. Matte medium, if I can lay my hands on it. It's the and if my not, fingers. I will just go to my good old used to glue stick because that's what's here. Good plan. I don't know. I another one. And do something else. I can still use these papers that I printed. So. Oh Especially, yeah, I love this one. <laughs> I think I might just use the whole piece. Because it's just so cool. It's got something on it. I don't know what it is. But isn't that cool? Yep. You can always just start with the whole piece. Good. Let's see. I think I want this piece also. So means another stamping, right? What did I do with my oops? Just stick your finger in it. There you go. <laughs> Why the heck not? Oh man. Make sure we're stamping well. Looks pretty good. I always, when I'm doing something like this and I don't want to ruin something, I will ink it up, stamp it off, and then ink again just to try to improve the odds of having a good transfer ink to stamp to paper. Just one of those things you learn after years of stamping so that you get a nice crisp impression like that. So I'm liking that. And I'm going to need cut that out oops there we go I always do that stuck my finger right in it pulled off the paper dumb thing Those are too big. Just go for the really big scissors, why don't you, Peg? <laughs> why not? Oh, man. Supposedly, the bigger, the better. Well, I'm not sure that's true. It wasn't working for me, I'm saying. Mm. All right, that's a cool background just by itself. Yeah, Terry, you're going to have to watch the finished version. It won't come out till probably, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day when I can finally finish it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's hard, you know, because we want to use all the stuff we've got, but some things just don't lend themselves to an hour and a half of crafting, you know? Nope, definitely not. I have products and I want to use them. I actually have a different video that I'll put up today and then I'll do this the one the best of this one um, on Saturday. That's what I'll do. Then that way I can finish that quick stick. Oh yeah, and um I was going to tell you guys, because I know there have been a number of people questioning about the class that Shell and I are teaching. And so um, I did a little research for you. Um, they did post something on Bea's blog yesterday, uh, doing an introduction, but they will be introducing the artists that are part of this, um, because it's Shell. Gina Ahrens, Bea Grobe, Petra Futches, Marie Linder, Fiona Di Pinto Cabral, and myself that are doing this class this summer that starts on June 1st. So uh, if you know these people, if you know of them, and if not, and you want to get familiar with them, um, this class is a good way to do it. So just thought I'd let you know what was going on with that. Now, I think I will bring some mica back in to mount this piece on. And mm -hmm. the cool thing about mica is you can cut it with scissors, too. You know, like if I, if I decide I want to use this piece of mica, but I feel like it's too big. I mean, what did I do with those big scissors? I can just take my scissors and chop this back to a shape that I want and this can become a component here so I'm going to get my glue stick and glue that down onto my mica And then I'm going to take some, I think I want some dimensional tape behind that to pop it up. I still haven't decided if I want to add any other game piece components here. Not liking that. I could add them behind. Like so, since we're doing game pieces, do a pop. Or not. Just not feeling that. Um, Yellow is just so yellow. It's just detracting this. So I don't think I'm going to use those. I think I'm going to use this and maybe some. You know how it is when something distracts you? you? You want, if I want this to be my focal image, I need to make that come up off the page more. So I'm going to get some other things.
got those shapes again. <laughs> shapes are interesting from that piece of paper. I assume it was a stencil of some sort. I don't know. I can't even remember who made the paper, so I can't ask them. But it's fun to use these papers, and I think you guys should all do it. I don't know. A few people have posted so far things that they made, and they've all been fabulous. So I should have. know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a try. I have some uh, embossing fluid in a dauber form here. Because oh, I should have done this before I glued it down. Just saying. Should have. Should have, could have, would have. Yeah, should have done this. Mel says you're off screen, Peg. Can't see what you were doing. Well, I'm right here. I can see me. That was a little bit of the vintage beeswax, and I want to add a little bit of the Sedona in there also, I think. So I'm going to just get a something that I can scoop that with. My fingers, I guess. Oh. Pieces. Crumply, crumply pieces to figure out what's left here. All right, what shall I do with you now that you're that? Hmm.
All right, what else do I have to embellish this with? So this pen has got India ink in it. It is a Faber Castell Pit artist pen. Don't know why they're called Pit. That seems like not very positive, you know? It's like, why would you name yourself something Pit? <laughs> but I'm using it to do shadows around these shapes just for more depth. Blending it with a water tank brush. These weird abstract shapes are pretty cool. So I'm kind of blending them into the background using this shading and shadowing technique, which is blend off of the uh, the pick a stick although i guess i'm really not doing pick a stick anymore since i had to let that dry how are we doing oh not even starting to dry but i can tell that it is going to be a little bit shimmery from the mica when it's dry because like this one right here had a thin coat this s i don't know if you can see it's going to be shimmery like like mica does you know it does that. I wonder what would happen if I zhuzhed up these purple lines a little bit. Just a little bit of zhuzhing. <laughs> I was watching a HGTV show, I think it's HGTV, uh, called Rock the Block, which is a design and decorating type show. And they kept saying, zhuzh. You need to zhuzh it up a little bit. Just need to zhuzh it up a little bit. Like, who even invented that? Yeah, I need my... I need my copper zhuzh. I don't know where I put it. Quickly, find the copper zhuzh. There it is. <laughs> copper zhuzh. Copper. Um, copper. Copper. It's the best kind. I tell you. If you're going to zhuzh, zhuzh with kappa. Yeah, it's okay. We're a little bit crazy in here. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, what do I do with the stipple brush? See, I'm losing stuff on my desk again. I didn't need it, I promise. I didn't. Well, no, I didn't. I, didn't I know it. it's here. <laughs> it's buried. There we go. I need some of this. Okay, so I've got this greenish, greenish green around here and there. Um, the green is green with green. So I'll figure out what's more of that on there. Maybe with paint. Is this one green? That's a close enough. This one is 
chromium oxide green. Why not chromium oxide green? Why oh, not? I did not need that much. <laughs> that stuff just jumped right out of that. But if you've got the chromium oxide, why don't you put it on there? You know? Well, I'm just not liking this. It's not my fault. Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure I did it, but, you know. <laughs> when you don't like it, you don't like it, right? Sometimes you don't like it. It can happen. But this is mixed media. Just put another layer on. You can always just put another layer on. I wonder if I have a copper pin. I bet you do. These little lines in the stencil. I think this one is supposed to be a stitching, a stitching stencil, but it's got some interesting designs. I have gold, Actually, but I know that's not gonna work. Stitch ADC, ATC. Oh, let's see what this neopaic does. We got so much of this green left. Holy smokeables. I don't want to waste it. So I guess I'll put it on a piece of paper for later. I should you have a fine line cup or something. Uh, way too much. But it's not popping out at me. Okay, let's have to roll away. Back to this. All right, we're going to need. Some docks, some docks, docks, docks. If I were a dock, where would I be? Good question. Huh. If I were a dot, I might be on this one maybe because there's some like multiple size dots on this one, which is kind of cool. So let's find a color. If I were lavender, where would I be? That is, I need some sort of lavender. Um, brilliant purple. Apparently, it's smarter than the average purple. Probably. Well, it's brilliant. Right? Brilliant. This time I only got a little drop, like you're supposed to. I did not go crazy. Okay, so I spent all that time on that, and I think I'm just throwing it out. <laughs> it just isn't doing it for me. You know how that goes? You can't throw it out. You just have to leave it on your desk and wait to see if you like it some other day. That's the rule. I'm having one of those days. I often have those days. 
Like this is the ugliest thing I've ever made in my entire life. I hate it. I wish it would go away. And then the next day, it's like, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> that's how it goes for me. In fact, I went like three days without posting anything that I made because I was just, I just hated everything. It was awful. I understand. And then later, I ended up posting it after all. It's like, then everyone just left nice comments. It's funny. I guess they didn't want me to lose it. All right. That's starting to look kind of pretty. What else do I want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Which is probably good. Decide if I need like a focal image or what. Boy, this ink is not very good. Of course, white is always hard. We'll give it a try. Lovely. Okay, that didn't work at all. Okay. Not going to do that. Let's do this. Is this thing even working? I don't know. So Peg sent me this. This is a punch out from Art by Marlene, I think. Right, Peg? Uh, yeah, probably. Art by Marlene. This little keyboard. She does a lot of, of uh, mermaids and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I know you had one of her. Hagboard punch out things, and I think you said, yeah. I'm pretty sure you sent it to me. It's already colored, which means it's not my art, but you know, 
I can always judge it. All right, so we did that I color. This background really well. We do. It's a thick kind of paper, so I have to really make sure that it's all filled in. And I'm stuck down. This wild idea. Don't know if it's going to work at all. Seahorse once had a seahorse farm in uh, Hawaii. My mom and I went there a couple years ago, and we went there to this place. It's just like out, out by the ocean in a, like an industrial park, <laughs> and they had these tanks, yes. and then they would let you. Um, Hold or pet, you know, the seahorse. It's pretty cool. Cool. I've never actually seen one in real life. I've only seen them in the, besides that, you know, I've only seen them in captivity. I don't think, you know, like I've, I've snorkeled plenty, but I've never seen a seahorse out in the ocean. I was hoping sometime to go someplace where I could find, you know, like the starfish on the beach or something. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that yet. You can go to the Oregon oh, coast. That you doesn't work awesome either. Tide pools. We should go to the Oregon coast. I'll take a trip. I'm ready for a trip. I'm I'm tripping out on this. You know what? I'm not going to finish this today. It's a non-finished day, guys. <laughs> this just isn't cutting it for me. And everything that I try is too big for a focal point on here. Maybe I just need to go back to my smaller pieces. And that just isn't cutting it at all. I can see I can see I'm not liking anything that comes out here. It's one of those I hate everything days. Yep. You guys ever have that? I hate everything day? I do. Uh, this is it. This is it. it. It's real. It happens. And you know, I, I'm happy with the background. I don't really like what's going on here. I need something for the focal that it just isn't, it isn't talking to me. It isn't saying, oh, I have just the perfect thing. Um, and when I try 
when I try other pieces, they just seem to be too big for this piece. I don't have anything in the appropriate sizes. So there's no point of forcing it. Sometimes you can't force it. Just have to step away. Wait for another day. Yeah. See, I'm I, I'm reaching, I'm grabbing for the wrong things now. I mean, maybe I should just go back to where we started all of this with the circular stuff and let this dry down, come back to it. Because that's... Uh, that's going to take a while because this is dimensional. You know, I like that better than anything else I've done so far. And that's, oh, that's, that's, so. Set that aside. Good plan. I started on a couple of this morning. And maybe that's where my mind was. Maybe I was thinking I should just, you know, go with the flow here. And So what if you had something that was not your art and was already colored, but you wanted to put it on? This is how you do it. This is how you get it integrated into your thing. It's by adding more color on top with your own marks. You need to put your own marks on it. You can't just leave it. Yep. Slap it on there and then leave it. This is adorable and this is something I might make myself, but I, I could see me drawing this and coloring this, but I didn't. So I've got to do things to it to make it be something that I, you know, at least had a hand in. It is super cute. <laughs> Let's see, I want nope. That was a crazy noise. I'm just unzipping my carrying case for my brushes. I've got some. These are some of my. Uh, I'm painting. Like this one's a scrubber. I like to use that. Um, when I'm working with acrylics, I like something that's got a little bit more um, bounce to it. And that brush was not it. I'm just saying that brush was not it. So I want to add some color on this one. The show's over anyways. 
10 o'clock. Is it? Okay. Well, sorry guys, just not a productive day for me today. I'll have to think about that one. Must have too much other stuff going on in my head. Some days are like that. Yep. All right, I guess we're done. Thanks everybody for showing up. If you're watching this in the replay, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're watching here, be sure to give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we'll have speed ups of projects later on on our other channels, which hers is Peg Robinson, mine's Chelsea Paper Octio Studio. So that's it for us today. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye guys.